Chemotherapy involves chemical agents and drugs that attempt to disrupt cancer cell growth and hopefully kill cancer cells. Did you know chemo was first developed as a U.S. Army poison gas program during World War II? Chemotherapy attempts to interrupt the cancer progression in the body. Normal cells know when to stop growing, but cancer cells ignore the body's signals to stop growth. If not controlled or killed, the cancer cells disrupt normal cell functions, including natural cell growth and multiplication and replacement of normal tissue of organs. Chemo is also utilized to shrink the cancer tumor size prior to surgery with an objective to make removal less invasive and more effective. Chemotherapy is the sanctioned therapy when cancer is spread beyond where it began or metastasized. Success rates for chemotherapy have been highest in ovarian, testicular, and Duke C cancers. Are you aware the medical profession considers cancer cured if a patient is cancer-free for five years after treatment, even if cancer reoccurs in year six? While well, certainly a positive, in my opinion, the word cure should equate to gone, with cancer no longer present anywhere in any amount. Chemo has its own risks. Chemo suppresses the immune response. While studies indicate chemotherapy patients are 14 times more likely to develop leukemia and six times more likely to develop cancer of the bones, joints, and soft tissue. Most forms of chemotherapy also cause depletion of vitamin A and interfere with the intestinal absorption of vitamin K needed for proper blood density. Dermatitis on the skin is common, while red blood cell levels needed for energy are almost always lowered after chemotherapy. Nausea, pallor, fatigue, and hair loss are frequent chemo side effects. Chemotherapy agents are recognized carcinogens or cancer-causing agents, and that means a decision to utilize chemotherapy is based on assuming a higher probability of reward in fighting cancer than risk of other health issues from known potential chemo side effects. Risk versus reward is a major personal issue in using chemotherapy and cancer treatment. Mg-beta-glucan for many is a beneficial adjuvant as a nutritional normalizer to immune cells that contributes to a defense against being chemocollateral damage while promoting white and red cell replenishment and providing negative side effect reduction. Choose well. Choose NSC-MG-beta-glucan.